Hey, this is Eric, and in this video, we're going to be doing a deep dive into gyms for Google Gemini. We're going to be looking at six topics. What are gyms and how do you access them? Using the pre-made gyms from Google, creating your own gyms, using your own gyms, sharing gyms with others, and my EduGyms website where I share lots of my favorite gyms. So, Feel free to watch the entire video or look in the description below for timestamps so you can jump to the section that you want to see. So what are gyms? Well, have you ever had a prompt that you find yourself using over and over again? Well, it would be inconvenient if each time you want to use it, you have to retype the prompt or you have to go find it and copy and paste it. Wouldn't it be great if you could just save that prompt somewhere in Gemini so that you could use it anytime you need? Well, that's what gyms are. In short, a gym is basically just a saved prompt that you can easily access and use to start a new conversation whenever you need. To access gyms, you'll start out in Gemini as normal at gemini.google.com. Next, go over to the left-hand menu bar and you'll find a section called Gyms. Click on the option for Explore Gyms and this will open up the Gym Manager screen where you can access pre-made gyms from Google, you can access gyms that you have made, and way at the bottom, you can also access gyms that have been shared with you. When you access the Gym Manager in Gemini, the first thing you're going to see is a collection of pre-made gyms provided by Google. These include gyms like the Brainstormer, Writing Editor, Learning Coach, and more. Uh, to use any of these, simply click on the gym, and it will open Gemini in a new tab with the gym loaded and ready to use. One of the more unique pre-made gyms from Google is the Storybook Gym. This one will create an illustrated storybook that you can flip through and even have read aloud. Although it's nice to have a few pre-made gems from Gemini to get you started, the real power comes from being able to create, use, and share your own gems. To make your own gem, start by clicking on the plus new gem button and this will open up a screen where you can fill in all the details for your gym. So for this example, let's say I'm a science teacher and I want to make a gym that's going to help me create science experiments for my students. So uh, first of all, in the name box, I'm going to put in a name for this gym. We'll call it the Science Experiment Generator. Uh, the description field, that's optional. Uh, you don't have to fill that in, but if you think that you may be sharing this gym with other people, then a description may be useful to them. So for example, maybe for this one, I'll enter generate school safe science experiments for students. Now, the instructions box, well, that's where the real work happens. This is where you're going to enter a prompt that the gym will be using to perform its task. So for my example, let's say we put in something like this. You are an excellent science educator skilled at making learning engaging and relevant for students. Ask for a grade level and topic and then generate a science experiment that is creative, school safe, addresses the topic, is appropriate for the grade level, and aligns to the attached Ohio science standards. Now, if you feel that your prompt could use some improvement, you can always click on the little pencil below the prompt. Uh, when you click that button, Gemini will read your current prompt and then rewrite and expand your instructions. Now, of course, you can always go back through this and edit in any way you want, but it's a great way to be able to take your prompt and expand it if needed. Finally, there is the knowledge field here at the bottom. This is optional, but it allows you to upload files that your gym can reference and pull from when interacting and generating content. This is a great way to ground your gym with content that you trust and approve. In my case, I'm going to upload the Ohio Science Standards so that the gym can reference these when creating the science experiment. And that's it. Uh, at this point, you can test out the gym here in the preview window to make sure it works the way you want. And of course, you can go back over and make any changes to this as needed. Now, when you're all done, click the Save button in the top to finalize that gym. 
To use any gym you've created, just head over to the Gym Manager screen in Gemini and find the gym, and then give it a click. This will open Gemini in a new tab with the gym loaded and ready to use. Now, before you begin interacting with the gym, one thing to consider is you may want to change the model that you're using. Uh, rather than using 2.5 Flash, uh, I would recommend switching up to 2.5 Pro. That model is a little more powerful and will produce higher quality responses for these sorts of tasks. Now also, typically you do need to start the conversation with the gym, so I usually just type in hi and submit that, and then that will get it going. Now from here on out, the gym will have a conversation with you based on the task that it was programmed to help you with, in this case, creating a science experiment. Uh, so it's greeting us and asking what grade level um, our students are and what topic we want to explore. So for this one, I'm going to say that uh, I'm teaching grade five and that we're covering the standard on uh, sound. And I'll go ahead and submit that. The gym will now follow the prompt and process my request and read through the content standards and generate a science experiment. And of course, I can continue the conversation down here with any changes that I'd like to make. As awesome as it is to create a gym, even better is the option to share the gym with others. For any gym that you've made, you can click on the sharing icon next to the gym. This will now open up the standard Google sharing window. Here you can share with specific people, or if you go down to the general access section, you can share this gym with your entire school or anybody on the internet who has the link. You can then just copy the link and then provide that to whoever needs to use the gym. When they click that link, It'll open the gym in Gemini just like when we used it earlier. Now, in addition to being able to use a shared gym, anytime you do open a gym that somebody has shared with you, that gym will get listed all the way down at the bottom of your gym manager screen under the shared with me section. From here, you can click on the gym again anytime that you want to run it. Better yet though, if you want to make a copy of it, you can simply click on the three dots to the far right and click the make a copy option. You'll now get your own copy of the gym that you can edit and use however you need. I absolutely love the idea of sharing gyms. This is a great way for schools to build their own high quality, customized gyms that are preloaded with that school's standards and curriculum, and then make those gyms available to their staff or even their students if Gemini is turned on for them. Schools can collect and create the best gyms for science and language arts and SEL and assessments and so much more, and then put those links to the gyms on their website or in a Google Doc or a Google Sheet that the staff can access and use. Speaking of which, <laughs> that is exactly what gave me the following idea. So I have created a website called edugyms.ai where I'm sharing my favorite gyms for schools. Some of these I have collected from other sources such as Google, but most of these are gyms that I've created myself. At the time of this recording, there's about 40 gyms on the site, but I plan to add new gyms frequently. As you scroll on down the page, you'll find gyms for curriculum and lesson design like choice boards and lesson hooks and unit plans. Uh, further down, we've got literacy and language with decodable text, sentence starters, song lyrics. Next up, we've got student activities with things like an AI interview or an AI debate or even some classroom games you can play with the AI, two truths and a lie, 20 questions, emoji definition game, and so on. Next up, we got some assessment gyms like DOK questions and math story problems, rubrics, etc. Uh, next up, student support, accommodations, releveling text, social stories, and finally, professional tasks like a class newsletter or an email to parents or a recommendation letter. Now, to use any of these, simply give a click on the gym you're interested in, and that will open up a page where you can read all about what that gym is designed to do and who created that gym. 
If you want to use the gym, just click the link next to use the gym. And as normal, uh, a new tab is going to open up and the gym is going to get loaded up into Gemini ready to go. Now, as I mentioned before, I would recommend switching to 2.5 Pro so that you get the best possible responses. And as always, I usually start by saying hi to kick off the conversation. Uh, after that, though, it'll continue on as normal. Now, one special thing I did was I provide a direct link to make a copy of the gems. Rather than using the method we discussed earlier, you can just click the link next to make your own copy, and this will give you your own copy of the gem directly that you can then edit any way you need, and then of course click save when you're done to save it to your own list of gems. For those interested in how this trick works, uh, let me show you. So if you're the person who created the gym, after sharing the gym as normal, instead of copying the shared link, instead go up to the top address bar and copy the link to the actual gym itself. Then simply edit that link to replace the word edit with the word copy. This new link will allow people to directly make a copy of the gym without needing to first open and run the gym. So I would encourage you to explore the site at edugyms.ai and try out all the gems that I have collected there. And if you have created a gem that you're willing to share, you can fill out the form on the website to have your gem considered for inclusion on the site. And if you made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing, accessing all of my resources at controlaltachieve.com, and connecting with me at bit.ly slash caa-connect, where you'll find my email, social media links, newsletter, and more.